I told you earlier, close to half of the COVID-19 deaths in the states have ties to long-term care facilities. This news coming as Illinois hits four straight days of triple-digit deaths. WGN's Eric Rung live with that story, as well as the governor's reaction to the growing number of plans to reopen the state. Eric? Well, good evening to the both of you. Yes, some very sad numbers to report today from the state. Now, as far as those plans go, everybody, or not everybody, I should say, but many people are saying that the governor's plan just moves too slow and they need to get businesses and the economy up and going. But the governor is saying that his plan was put together using data and expert advice. It came as no surprise to Governor Pritzker that state and local leaders didn't just cheer and say okay when he unveiled his plan to reopen the state. I am aware of multiple plans from multiple places around the state of Illinois. The governor today saying he's taken some things from several different plans. He also said there wouldn't be so many plans to reopen in this state and neighboring states if there was a plan put forward by the federal government. Now what you've got is a patchwork of states doing different things, some of us creating pacts in various regions of the, of the uh, country. Testing will play a big role in moving the state through each phase. The governor today saying we hit a record with more than 20,000 tests. The state ranks fifth nationally in testing, second when narrowed to the 10 most populous states. While those numbers are good news, the bad news comes that Illinois has had four straight days of more than 100 deaths due to COVID-19. The state's top doctor warns not to get caught up, however, in the day-to-day -day numbers. I think when you stand back and maybe take a week at a time, we can get bigger trends and get um, a more, uh, more balanced view. And I think overall, I think we're going in the right direction. We have been talking about that has been really struggling with COVID-19 is those long-term health care facilities, nursing homes, and places like that. More than our nearly half of the COVID-19 deaths in the state are tied back to a nursing home or long care health facility in some way or shape or form. Uh, they also saw a 500 uh, case spike with ties back to nursing homes and long care facilities for positive tests. So still a lot of work to be done in those facilities. We're live tonight. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Thank you, Eric.